Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on Python. Okay, and we will talk a little bit about LinSpace. Maybe somewhere you, you've heard about LinSpace or maybe you've learned about LinSpace, but still you don't understand what LinSpace is. And this video, we will talk a little bit about that. Okay, so now we are inside Google Collab. You can open your Google Collab. It's free, it's very simple. And we have code and we have text. I'm just going to open the text and paste the explanation or the definition of LinSpace. Okay, so LinSpace is used to return evenly spaced numbers over a specified interval, right? So that's very easy. LinSpace to return evenly spaced numbers over a specified interval. Okay, and now I'm going to show you the code to, to use the LinSpace. But before that, I'm going to show you how to use LinSpace in Skylab. Okay, this is the Skylab, Skylab on cloud. So you can type in cloud.skylab.in. Okay, we are inside the Skylab and to use the lead space, we can just simply type in lean space, open parenthesis. The first one is the starting point. Let's say one comma. This is the syntax, right? To 10. So from one to 10 comma again with how many steps. Okay. I'm just going to select one to 10. 10 steps. So it means that we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 numbers, 10 steps. Okay. And minimize. We can see here execute button. Click execute. Yeah, this is the answer actually. We have the answer already. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1 through 10 with 10 steps. Of course, we can use five steps, execute. So one, 3.25, 5.5, 7.75, and 10. So that's what lean space is. Okay, you can make it more complex. 100 step, right? And we even find error here. Right, so this is to generate numbers. This is to generate values from from which we can create the function, or maybe we can create a plot. Right, so that's what lint space is. So we just we just want to generate values and use that value maybe in our function in our equation, and then generate a plot. Okay, let's say from 1.5 to maybe 100 with 20 numbers execute okay so one or maybe zero to 100 with five steps so 0 20 40 60 80 100 or maybe six execute, right? 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, right? So that's easy, right? 1,000, six steps. Yeah, 0, 200, 400, 600. All right, so in Skylab, that's quite clear. That's, that's simple. Now we will go to Python within the Google Collab. So for Python, we need to first import the library, okay? And the library is NumPy. So we use import, okay, maximize. We will call for the NumPy and we will call it as NP. Usually we call it NP, all right? So as you can see, NumPy, it provides an array object of arbitrary homogeneous items. And this one is important, fast mathematical operations over those arrays, 
right? It includes linear algebra, Fourier transforms, and random number generation, right? So we, we call the NumPy so that we can use the functions there, the functions available there in our operation, which we want to use the lean space, okay? Okay, we click this one, run, and we create new code. And so in Python, the syntax is NP or NumPy actually, be, we use NP because we call it as NP, lean space, okay? This one, lean space, definition, lean, lean space, start, the starting point, the starting number, and then the stop number, maybe 50, the end point, okay? But we can also use just three, start, stop, and how many steps? Okay, open parenthesis, one through 10, 10 steps. And then we can click run. All right, this is the array, one, two, three, four, five through 10. Okay, so the same with Skylab, but in the Python, we need to call for the NumPy first. And then one to 100, 10 steps. This one, 1, 12, 23, 34, and so on and so forth. Five through maybe 143 or 542 with 17 steps, just randomly. All right. If you want to do this in Excel, it's, of course, it's quite difficult. I even cannot do that, all right? Like 2.34 to 150.7. Can you do this in, in Excel? We cannot, but we can in Python, all right? So, you can see the benefit of lean space and we can use this code. We can use this operation in many of our codings, our programmings in Python, MATLAB, Skylab, and others. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Python videos. Thank you.